Hey folks, DJ with the Rabbit School Garage, and I'm going to do just a real quick video on uh, a, some interior lights for the FJ and a new antenna, a shorty antenna for it. And this will be real quick and simple. Um, just going to, these are LEDs, uh, what are they, Fest, Yorkum Super Bright Festoon 31 millimeter light bulb, LED light bulbs. So we're going to throw those in real quick and uh, I got an antenna here, um, part number is A090-TY-2 and it's a 5 inch antenna, um, supposed to fit the FJ Cruiser just fine. So we'll test this one out and uh, I won't be able to turn the radio on so you can hear it but um, because of copyright laws and all that. But uh, yeah, we're going to put these in and just, you know, get a quick test of them and I will put links to both of these in the description below if you want to buy them on Amazon it will help the channel out so uh, yeah let's get going so let's just get the first one the uh, antenna off um, it's uh, seven millimeter if you're wondering seven millimeter or a pair of pliers I'm just gonna pop it right out of there and then this one is supposed to just fit right in. And it looks like it does. So, nice and snug. I'm going to just snugging it by hand. I'm not going to put pliers on or anything. And there we go. Now when you go through car washes or the, the woods, nothing's going to mess up your antenna. So, quick, easy done now let's turn the radio on and see how it sounds all right well I went in I turned the radio on and I wasn't gonna let you I can't let you hear how it sounds because of uh, copyright infringements and all that good stuff but the radio sounds the same as it did before um, I checked different stations like where I'm at there's a station um, I'm in Cincinnati Ohio and there's a station up in Dayton that I was able to get before and I just tested it again and it works fine. I'm able to get that station still with this little tiny five inch antenna. So I'll give it a thumbs up for now. Um, I might do a, you know, a follow up video and if, if it turns out to not work, but as far as I'm concerned right now, I'll just, I'll stay with it. And uh, here's the package and the part number. And again, the warning on the back focus and there's the warning on the back if you want to stop and read it just pause the video okay now let's move on to the lights inside all right here we are inside and uh, you can see the the dome light here there's one in the back also there's just two of them in here and uh, to pull these off are real simple I just use a tiny little screwdriver and uh, stick it right up in there and just pull it straight down and there it is um, and now you have access to the bulbs right up underneath there. So what I'm going to do is wait until it gets dark. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap the bulbs while it's dark outside. And that way you can see the before and after. Yeah, I forgot to end this. Um, so to take the actual light bulb out of this piece, um, you take it from the top up here and then this whole square will come out and they give you this tool this nifty little tool to take it out with so let's go ahead and see if that works if not we'll just pop our small screwdriver up in there which it doesn't I think that's actually supposed to be used to take the bulb out so we'll stick our little screwdriver up in there and just pop it pop it down there you go so now you have access to the bulb which is right there so, okay, we're going to um, put that all back together, and then we'll come out when it's dark, and we'll see if what, how much of a difference it makes. Okay, so it's dark now, and uh, this is what it looks like with the lights that were already in it. Um, I think it looks a little darker on camera than it actually is, but like here's the driver's seat. You can just barely see it there. Um, 
you know, it's not too bad. But I just think in the back, especially, let's uh, open the back up. I think in the back is where I'll benefit the most from the light. Um, I've got my get home bag there, some tools, chains, and a wool blanket. Always good to keep that kind of stuff in your car, um, you know, for emergencies. So first aid kit. Um, I'll let you guess what's in that lockbox right there, but yeah. So anyway. You can see how it kind of lights up. It does well. I mean, you know, the stock lights aren't bad. I just wanted better. So this is what it looks like with the, the uh, just regular incandescent bulbs. And let's go ahead and put the LEDs in and see how it looks. All right, well, there it is. We've got the LEDs in now. And as you can see, you can see the driver's seat much better now. Um, you can see the floorboards way better. Um, and everything else just kind of lights up um yeah i got an, an axe there and gloves i've been splitting wood so <laughs> um but yeah you can see the bulbs now um they look a lot better and it's a white light that it definitely seems to have lit up the rear seats better so and in the back so let's go around and take a look at that Yes, yeah, so you can see now it definitely lights up the rear much, much better. So, yeah, I think I like them, and uh, we'll leave them in there. I, I do suggest them, and uh, again, for uh, the lights that I just put in for the interior and for the uh, shorty antenna, there'll be links in the bottom down there in the description. And uh, if you use that, it'll help me on my Amazon, which will... Um, you know help support the channel so i would appreciate you using those and if you could go ahead and like this video if you liked it only if you liked it and uh yeah go ahead and subscribe if you have a chance so we'll go ahead and call this one a night and uh thank you all for watching